Hello everyone, welcome back to the ongoing course on theory of machines and vibrations. This is the last lecture of theory of machines in which we will be solving some of the previously asked questions of balancing cams and gyroscope in the recently concluded gate examinations. Okay. Check out the link below for free gate course that has more than 200 videos along with this video followed by doubt sessions previous paper and more than 250 quiz from Greta. So let us begin with balancing. The question asked in 16 set 3. What the question says, two masses M, okay, this is the two masses M, this is one M and this is another M, are attached to opposite sides of a rigid rotating shaft in a vertical plane. Another pair of equal masses M1, this is M1, is attached to the opposite side. This is one M1, this is one M1 of the shaft in a vertical plane as shown in the figure. Okay. Consider M equal to 1, E equal to 50. This is E. Okay. This is E and this is E. Means the M are attached at a distance of E and M1 are attached at a distance of E1. This is E1. Maybe this is just a somewhat blurred for you. M, M1, M, M1, E, okay. So, E equal to 50, E1 equal to 20, B, this is B given as 0.3 meter, this is A given as 2 meter and A1 equal to 2.5 meter. For the system to be dynamically balanced, the M1 should be, it's asking about the dynamic balancing. So, we need to balance the force also and the moments also in the case of dynamic balancing but you will see as m e m e opposite side the force acting here m e omega square and here m e omega square gets cancelled from this side the force acting m1 e1 omega square and the force acting m1 e1 omega square again gets cancelled so the net balance or the net forces are already balanced in this case just by seeing this you can make it out then you need to find or balance the moments and you need to find the M1. So either from this axis or along this axis, just balance the moment either from this or from this. Okay, so we are considering this axis for balancing the moments. This is the force that is M1 E1, okay, acting towards this, but this omega effect can be neglected from all the forces as they are equal for all the Cases. So, for the force consideration, we will just write M and E means M1, E1 or M and E and then this distance for calculating the moments A, B or A1. So, for first of all, this force, this M1, E1, this will cause an anti-clockwise moment from while taken from this axis. So, M1, E1 into M1, E1 into A1, this is along this side. Then the force which caused the moment of for this that is m into e and this will be equal to this distance. What will be this distance from here till here? What will be this distance? This distance will be a1 minus b and this will be a clockwise. So minus m e into a1 minus b. Okay. m e into a1 minus b. Then next is this force, the force due to this mass m into e, this will again be a clockwise, so plus m into e and then this distance. What will be this distance? a1 minus a minus b, a1 minus a minus b and this will be equal to 0. Just substitute the given values, m1 you need to find out, e1, e1 equal to 20. Just in this kind of a question, you can change all the units to one form means either in meter or mm but you can see that here also is e here also is e and here also is e means the term is e which has the unit of e or e1 which has the same unit of mm and here the term is also a1 a1 in this and the a1 in this these have the units of meters so you can even manage without changing the units like e can be the terms of e or e1 can be kept in mm only and the terms of a1, a and b can be kept in meters only. So, e1 is given as 20 into a1 
is given as 2.5 okay minus m is given as 1 into e is given as 50 and a1 minus b a1 is 2.5 b is 0.3 so 2.5 minus 0.3 plus m is 1 e has been given to you as 50 a1 is 2.5 minus 2 minus 0.3 equal to 0. So, this becomes how much? 50. This becomes how much? 50. 50 m1 minus this is 50 and 50 into 2.2 plus 50 into 2.5 minus 2 0.3 is 2. Point, is 0.2 equal to 0. This will be 0 0.2? Yes. So, 50 m1 equal to 50 into 2.2 is 110 minus this is because this will go to that side. So, it will become plus this will become minus minus 10. So, this is equal to 100 or m1 equal to 100 divided by 50 equal to 2. So, your answer is m1 equal to 2 kg. Very simple question. Just see the forces are already balanced. So, you need to balance the moments and as soon as you balance the moment you get the answer as 2 kg. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from TradeUp. Okay, next question. Asked in gate 2017 set 2. Three masses are connected to a rotating shaft supported on bearings A and B as shown. See these are the two bearings, these are the three masses M1, M2 and M3. Okay, the system is in a space where the gravitational effect is absent. Okay. Neglect the mass of shaft and rods connecting the masses. For M1 equal to 10 kg, M2 equal to 5 kg and M3 equal to 2.5 kg and the shaft angular speed of 1000 radian per second, the magnitude of the bearing reaction in Newton at location B is. Okay. So, in this question, you can see you need to find the bearing reaction means you need to find these two reactions that is R at A and R at B. We are basically concerned with this, but how to find this? First of all, you need to find the forces that this body or these three masses are constituting means you need to first find out the fx, then the fy and then you need to see that what are the net effect or the reactions that are causing at point A and B. They will be both equal because they are at same distance from this axis of the shaft, axis of the masses. Okay. So, for finding the fx, what you need to find? summation of fx equal to 0 if you do or you cannot do it like this you need to find the fx okay fx equal to 0.1 that is m1 0.1 omega square because this is in this direction only plus m2 0.2 omega square cos 120 degree plus m3 0.4 omega square cos this angle will be how much? 240 because this is 220 from here. So, this will be 240. It is advisable to take it only in the one direction and just add it up. Okay. So, this will be 240. So, m1 value is 10. So, 10 into 0.1 is 1 that is omega square can take out from outside. This is 1. m2 is 5. 5 into 0.2 is how much? 1. And this is cos 120. The value of cos 120 is minus 0.5. So, this will value will be minus 0.5, omega square is already outside, m3 is 2.5, 2.5 into 0.4 is again 1 and 1 into cos 240 is minus 0.5 again. So, this value will get as 1 minus 0.5 minus 0.5. So, this value becomes 0. So, in case this case, you have the fx as 0. So, the no force is acting on the x direction. Then you need to similarly find out the fy. Fy, this force will not, the M1 will not create any force in the y direction because it is in the, only in the x direction. So, Fy will be equal to 0.2 M2 omega square sin 120 degree plus 0.4 M3 omega square cos 240 degree. Sorry, not cos, sin, sin 240 degree. Okay. So, 0.2 into M2 is again 1 omega square taken outside 1 sin 120 is sin 120 degree is 0.866 then 0.4 into m3 is again 1 
and 1 into omega square is outside sin cos sin 240 is again minus this. This is positive, this is negative. So these two effects again makes it 0. So which implies Fy is also equal to 0. So in this case, as you can see that there are no forces acting, there are no unbalanced forces that are acting on the because of three, these three masses, the system is already balanced. So there will be no reaction along this or either this. So in this case, Ra will be also equal to 0 and Rb also equal to 0. And we are, we are concerned or we are asked only about the reaction at B. So we can write down the reaction at B is 0. The magnitude of the bearing reaction at Newton and uh, in Newton at location B is 0. Simple question, very simple. Next question. If you have any force, then you need to calculate, suppose you get this value as something 5 or anything. So then this Ra plus Rb will be equal to that thing. And then you have to find it out that whether it is in a positive direction or negative direction. That will be another thing. But in this case, complete clearly, this is also 0, this is also 0. So there is no reaction existing at any point A or B. Next question. Only one question has come from CAM and that too a very theoretical question. Let us see what it is. In a cam follower, the follower rises by h as the cam rotates by delta in radians at angular constant angular velocity omega radians per second. The follower is uniformly accelerating during the first half of the rise period and it is uniformly decelerating in the later half of the rise period. Okay. Assuming that the magnitudes of the acceleration and deceleration are same, the maximum velocity of the follower is. I told you that this was the case when we were studying the camps. I told you that these are the simple conditions have been given to you that the magnitude of acceleration and deceleration are same and this is a uniformly acceleration case constant angular velocity omega. Okay, So the answer to this is straightforward. You can go back to your notes and see it. The answer is straightforward that is 2h omega by delta. Okay, Very simple in this case we have taken this as phi but they have given it as delta. So do not get confused this is 2h omega by delta the same expression which we did in while taking about while talking about this topic. Okay, Gyroscope no question has been asked till now. So I have just taken an example to let you understand that how a question on gyroscopic can be formed and how it is to be solved. So just see it. An aeroplane makes a complete half circle of 50 meters radius towards left when flying at 200 km per hour. Okay. The rotary engine and the propeller of the engine has a mass of 400 kg and the radius of gyration 0.3 meter. The engine rotates at 2400 rpm clockwise when viewed from the rear. Okay. Find the gyroscopic couple on the aircraft and states its effect on it. First of all, you have been given what mass 400 kg because you know that couple is I omega omega P. So first of all, you need to find all these three terms M equal to 400 kg K equal to 0.3 meters. So simply find out I M K is square M is 400 K is 0.3. So simply 0.3 square. This comes out to be 36 kg meter per meter 36 kg meter square then omega has been given to you as 2400 rpm this is n so you need to calculate n equal to 2400 rpm so just calculate omega from here 2 pi n by 60 which is equal to 2 pi into 2400 divided by 60 so this goes off 40 times this is becomes 80 pi okay this becomes 80 pi then you are not given omega p directly then how to find the omega p? Omega p is equal to v by r because v is equal to r omega. So the velocity has been given to you as 200 kilometer per hour. So just convert that 200 into meter per second that is 5 by 18 divided by r is 50. Okay. So this goes here 4 times, this goes here 2 times 9. So this becomes 10 by 9. This is the omega p radian per second again. So c equal to i omega omega p c i equal to 36 omega equal to 80 pi omega p equal to 10 by 9 so this goes here four times so this becomes 3200 pi and if you calculate this you will get as 10053 newton meters or 
100.53 kilo newton meter this is the gyroscopic couple this is the magnitude we have got now it is also asking about the effect and it is saying that the engine is rotating clockwise when viewed from the rear okay this is the view again rotating clockwise when viewed from the rear and it takes a turn towards left this is written that it takes a turn towards left so this takes a turn towards left this is the active gyroscopic couple this is the reactive gyroscopic couple so the reactive gyroscopic couple becomes like this that means the nose raise the nose and dip the tail simple this is the example of gyroscope that i have considered because no question has been asked in the gate examination of gyroscopic so far but this is the only thing which can be done either the omega p can be given straight away and if it is not given so only this thing this thing, thing can be given in which you have to find the omega p like this and then it is very simple i omega omega p see the gyroscopic couple okay so finally we have come to an end on the theory of machines part the vibrations part is left that we will be starting from the next class there will be four five lectures including the previous year questions on on vibrations so as the theory of machines part is complete it's my humble request to you all that is start learning studying it from the very beginning keep revising this subject the other subject of all the mechanical engineering engineering mathematics and all because every subject has a good weightage in the gate examination nothing can be neglected okay so try to solve as many problems as you can from the books the test series and the quizzes and if you haven't get got yourself enrolled in the test series please do it at the earliest grid up is providing you an awesome test series on the gate 2019 examination the subject tests are also there and the overall test series the complete test the mock tests are also there okay and if you have any queries any doubts you can write to us on the grid up app and on the website your feedbacks are always welcome okay see you in the next class till then thank you bye bye